what is that? What is that? What is that, everyone? It is your favorite cup of tea, T. Shay May. Back in this beat with another tea time with T. Shay May, guys. This reading is going to be a reading for the new moon this month of July. Ooh. We're going to see what the spirits have to say for you guys. But first things first, disclosure and disclaimer. Take a resume, sleep what doesn't. If you come across this reading and you feel as though it's meant for you, that means that it resonated. If it did not, it'd be like that sometimes. It is what it is. So let's go ahead and get started for you guys. All right, so for our cards today, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Our spirit message says, stand your ground. Moonology says, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. And then last but not least, our Romance Angels card said, Romantic Feelings. What they're super saying today already is that some of y'all are out there are having some doubts. See, this page pretty much already knows what the fuck to do. Not relishing, but would be living in their riches, sort of say. However, with it being reversed, it's kind of like some of you guys are kind of not knowing what your worth is or are starting to have doubts on what your worth could be y'all are y'all are y'all are good enough y'all are good y'all are gucci y'all are on point y'all are valid y'all are amazing you are super califragilisticexpialidocious is what it's saying okay bro <laughs> because literally your spirit message is even telling you that even though you may be having doubts on whether or not this is for you, your spirit message is saying to stand your ground. And spirit is really telling you, relax, chillax, relax, relate, release, rejuvenate, okay? And that's a lot of things that many people kind of forget to do. They forget to pretty much ground themselves in moments and times when it's most needed. Spirit is really telling y'all, y'all are good but you gotta stand your ground. And really it's just more like plant your feet on the ground, stand firm and tall, and let it be like, I am that bitch. I am the bitch. I am a bad bitch. I am the shit. When you start to get in your place, your life where you consider yourself in a highest regard, but not where it's selfish, no. You put yourself in a high regard in terms of like, you don't let anybody's thoughts or opinions or emotions or feelings get in the way or get to be or, or, or ever get to reach you or touch you in, in a sense. And I mean that where the second you start to not give a shit and by that it's really more like you don't give a shit because you were so affirmed and reassured within your own self that you know damn well that you can call yourself out for shit and really it's just more like once you kind of get to a place where you yourself are not necessarily putting others thoughts others opinions others whatever the hell in front of your own like when you put yourself first and foremost, you are untouchable. You are by far untouchable, unreachable, unattainable in a way where nobody can touch you. That is literally the energy that some of y'all kind of need to be in. And spirit is really dead ass saying like you are good enough. You are good enough. What I just say, I am the shit. I am a bad bitch. And then your romance angel message says you're feelings are real and worth exploring your feelings are valid your feelings are valid if you are afraid to do the thing that you love to do the thing that will surge you in much needed confidence that is totally valid to be afraid and scared of it and be like oh my goodness gracious ah oh my god your confidence your self-assuredness your self-awareness your self-consciousness all that self-reflection of yourself that is positive that is good that is a beautiful abundance that just wants to come up your way that is something that spirit wants y'all to mother effing realize and mother effing look into and that's on what period bitch literally y'all spirit is really telling y'all like y'all are the shit y'all are good enough 
definitely getting like this is more so of a career reading to where you may feel like you're not good enough and if it's something personal as well i can definitely see that um uh, i feel like a lot of you guys like really are gonna come out this quarantine if we're still in quarantine out uh, very confident very self-assured very rest assured of yourself and that is such a beautiful thing to have and do really just like some of you guys are going to come out with a career or going into a career that you're kind of not confident on and you want to pursue but you feel as though that you know you're not good enough you're doubting yourself your spirit is dead ass trying to say like you're you're good no need to worry no need to stress you're, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're doing amazing, sweetie. That's what Spirit is saying. So yeah, that's basically you guys reading for today uh, for the new moon in July. Thank you guys again so much for joining me on this episode of Tarot Time. And I will see you next time on Dragon Ball Spirituality. Bye.